So, I have a question. Have you noticed like somewhat of a pattern, right? When you like say you're on Netflix, right? And you looking like at a whole bunch of like let's say romantic comedies. And look at some of them. And on the cover it's like this this white person, right? They they seem to be so in love and you know, sharing their great story of how they fell in love, right? And then, you know, you go into the movie and you notice their their best friend, quote unquote, is this this black person. And they're usually this stereotypical version version of what a black person is. You ever notice how much of a pattern that sets, like how often that happens? Well, there's a little word that I like to use for that, that I just learned, by the way, and it's called tokenism. Tokenism, by the way, let me pull out my handy dandy notebook right here. The practice of making only a symbolic effort to do a particular thing, especially by recruiting a small number of people from underrepresented groups in order to give the appearance of sexual or racial equality when it was within a body of work. I know it's a long definition, but trust me, it's, it's, it's very, very useful. So, in certain films and certain TV shows, there's always a misrepresentation of black people or people of color. It's, all, it's always going to be there because, you know, white people. But, you know, they're has to be some type of change i feel like there can't be they can't be like this always right at least i would hope not some examples some tv shows and movies that do this you may have heard of them you may have heard not may not have heard of them i'm sorry and my words mixed up shows like on my block you know they have there's representation, but it's not representation of like the whole uh, race of people. Like, you know, my block, there's, you know, two black kids and two, uh, two Hispanic kids. And, you know, it goes and it uh, details their life, but it's not the life that all of them live, right? Like, when we ask for representation, we want the type of representation that you know the white kids get the little white kid that's complaining about being too tall or complaining about not getting the girl you know we want that type of stuff we want that type of representation not representation of our trauma over and over and over and over. it's getting old it's getting old okay we want the same type of representation because i mean you get it's important because it's just unfair like why is it that we always have to be subjected to the type of representation that other people would not want to deal with you you understand what i'm saying like it's just not cool and that's why i feel like this is something that needs to be spoken about and heard about because it's just not it's just not cool at all you know other examples that you get you get uh, the movie tall girl you get tall girl she's really tall you know that's cool this is you know it's a problem to somebody but I mean why is it that why is it that there has to be a black best friend I mean she couldn't why does she have to take the load of being you know that that person's go to to help her out in this situation i don't know and then there's the horror movies why are we the first ones to die all the time like why can't there be extra screen time for us you know like that makes no sense to me and then this honorable mention the newest uh star wars star wars the star trek movie that came out in like 2018 2019 i heard that the a black person in the movie he's in a battle and he gets knocked unconscious and he's not in the movie at all anymore 
wow okay like I, that's all i can say like but you get you you understand where i'm coming from there needs to be just overall better representation of people who look like me or people who are brighter than me but still people of color we would like better representation because it's just the fair thing to do it's the cool thing to do and when we ask for representation we don't mean represent us through our trauma no <laughs> we would like to be seen in 